I wanted to share a little bit about the journey of healing and your process because I see a lot of people um, doing inner work and really healing and I, I attended a class with Jeff and Shalia a couple days ago on Sunday and one of the things they said is that um, a lot of people in spiritual circles kind of try to heal uh, doing a lot of inner work and not so much action and that's kind of like swinging the pendulum the other direction where you may have done a lot of action without doing inner work like feeling your feelings and so one thing Jeff and Shalia said was like you know it's safe for you to like activate all of your chakras not just your upper chakras not just the intuition the third eye the heart the throat the the crown chakra but your base chakras your root your sacral chakra your um solar plexus right and and to kind of live in a harmonized life with all of your chakras activated and balanced um but yeah, I just wanted to speak to Twin Flames because a lot of you are doing inner work and you're having these kind of kundalini energy, some of you come up, um, and that can kind of throw you off balance. But uh, once you kind of calibrate and start doing inner work, um, one thing that was happening to a lot of Twin Flames in our community was like, people would heal and heal and heal and heal, and then nothing would change in the external. And there comes a time that you need to take some kind of action in the external. What was happening before, like I said, is people doing the action without doing the inner, and that was also not balanced. But um, really consider taking action once you heal. If you have a little nudge or a little, like, uh, you know, intuitive hint, whispering, it's like, hey, send that text or uh, join the school or you know, go apply for a job or go look for houses or um, write that letter or have put that boundary in place, right? Like, do it. Do the thing that you're, take the action that you're guided to take in a state of peace. What happens if you don't do the inner work first and you just take action? Well, your actions aren't going to be inspired. They're going to be reactions rather than inspired actions you're going to be in a state of reactivity to your environment and that's slavery you're, you're you don't want to be a slave to your external responses or external indicators right you want to create your reality and how you do that is you do start with the inner work you do feel what's in your heart you do the mirror exercise you come to a state of peace Imagine what your life would look like if every action that you took followed you coming into a state of peace. Every action that you took was following you choosing peace. So think about that. For a long time, I was a person who was led um, by reaction. I would react instead of respond to my external stimulus. If my twin flame didn't call me or didn't uh, pay attention to me, I'd, I'd get very anxious and I'd start having all these thoughts of fear, like doubts, like, oh, is he talking to someone else? Or like, what if something bad happened, etc., etc. And I would take action from a place of fear. I would text him a million times. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I did do that. I was that person where I would like show up at his house unannounced. Really anxious attachment behavior, right? None of that ever worked. In, in no case was my twin flame like, oh, thank you for sending me 20 text messages in a row or calling me 50 times. You know, I, oh man, like I used to be a hot mess and not trying to diss myself, but just to show you, you know, I've come a long way and you will too by following this work. So now, um, if I ever feel upset, I don't take action first, I heal come to a place of peace and then take guided action from that place and it's been so much better my life has been so much better so if you're in a situation where you've been doing a lot of inner work and you feel like things aren't changing you want to ask yourself like are you taking guided action after you've come to a place of peace or are you just sitting there waiting for your world to change 
waiting on the world to change. I won't sing the whole song. Trust me. Are you going to be like that picture, that meme of a skeleton sitting there waiting for their twin flame to come home, right? You might need to take some action. If you haven't joined Twin Flame Ascension School, join it. That's an action. If you haven't watched Twin Flame Ascension School, watch it. That's an action. If you're doing those things and you're doing inner work, and let's say that you're in a living situation that's not conducive to peace, what actions are you taking from a place of peace to to heal? What what did you heal in the mirror exercise? And then what were you inspired to do, right? Uh, our lease ends, I think, in November. And so we're going to have to take action. Oh, I see a lot of people gamble. And don't gamble with yourself, with your life. Don't be like, oh, God's going to provide. I'll just kind of wait until God brings me something and you're going to be like that person who stood on top of the house with a flood coming who didn't take the canoe and didn't take um the helicopter right I don't know there was like three things it was like uh, a life raft a canoe and a helicopter I don't remember the three things but then the person drowned right so you've got to balance your intuition your upper chakras with the lower chakras don't gamble away your life. God is grounded and intuitive at the same time. Take guided action steps, step by step. Build your foundation, make it nice and solid, and, um, and then you'll have a very beautiful life where you'll be able to powerfully manifest what you desire. Like you, you can manifest what you desire. So if you want some support doing this and you want to try coaching with me, Join one of my coaching groups. I have three. There's one seat available in Saturday, 2 p.m., but there's a couple spaces in my other two sections, Thursday, 7 p.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. So jump in a group and let me help you. Let me help you balance your chakras and your actions and your inner work. I would love to do that. My name's Lisey, and you can find me at twinflamesheartsdesire.com and just go to Ascension Coaching or go to shop and you'll find my groups. I have other... Uh, ways to connect with me in the description box under this video. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.